Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. We're going to be continuing on in the tower now. Um, wait, I'm just checking to make sure my mic is actually on. All right. Uh, so we're going to be going through the tower some more. Um, yesterday, level 35 was just so, so damn hard. It was basically the old level 50. Um, but they, they decided to move that down to 35. So I guess some of the higher floors are definitely going to be a lot harder. And I heard there's a lot of like just really really unique stuff that um, you have to build certain monsters to to get through. So I'm not I'm not exactly sure. I'm not too um, like I'm not 100% confident that I I will be able to clear this um, to floor 70 like immediately within the these few days. But I definitely should be able to do it you know before the reset or something like that because I could probably just build a few monsters you know um, give them to five stars that have like certain unique skills that I, I'll need to. Um, to get past certain floors and stuff, so I think it it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too hard. It should just be just be okay. So we're gonna try to get to probably the next few boss floors in this this video. Um, just basically do the same thing I was doing yesterday until eventually at some point I do you know inevitably inevitably get stuck. Um, but yeah, I think I think most of it should be fine. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be that difficult. Like most of the normal stages are actually really really easy. The only stages that are really really hard are the the boss stages because certain boss stages they, they come with like certain units that have certain, certain skills that um, make it a lot harder for you to, to clear through the tower. I think the, the probably the one problem I have with the new tower is um, you know how they made it so so much harder than it was before? But they, the rewards weren't increased, so basically it's still the same rewards as before, and all you really get for getting to floor 70 is just one light dark egg, which I guess it's still nice to have like one extra one every single month, but the amount of like effort and the amount of like teams that you have to build in order to, to get there, like it's it's probably not going to be really worth it un until you probably until you're like you know, maybe like stably farming golden speed 10 or something like that like um, un until you can really afford to you know you have like a really really stable gold income a way to basically continuously farm non-stop um, for for gems and for for gold so I'm not ex I'm not um, too sure I would recommend the, the newer players um, try to attempt the tower. Maybe try to get to like floor 30 or so, just just for the rewards before floor 35. Because definitely um, floor 35 is a lot harder, and they're starting to do a lot of damage as well. They're they're starting to um, you know, to be able to kill some of my units. So it's it's a little bit worrying. It's um, I'm not I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to. If I'm gonna be able to clear through the the whole tower, um, especially with some of the higher floors being like a lot harder, because if you think about it, um, it's not just I don't just have to raise certain units to like six stars or something in the future. Maybe it might be doable with five stars, but like you have to upgrade gems and stuff. You have to like pr pretty much put a put a gem set on that unit in order to, for for that unit to be able to do what you need it to do. Um, but yeah, so far the the normal stages, like just, just these random stages, are a lot e like just. I think it's a lot easier. There's no, there's there's not a lot of we really weird monsters. Um, but I guess I'm still in floor 30 something. I'm not even at floor 40 yet. And there's like, it, I think it goes up to goes up to 70 now. So it's like the the levels of the monsters are also a lot higher. So th I think the the demand for your your units stats are probably going to be a lot higher as well. Oh shit, what the fuck is this nuke? Actually, it doesn't look that bad. I don't know why I'm running my water nightmare. This, this makes no sense. I'm not too sure I should be running a healer. This is only round two out of three. And I'm not getting any heals. But I think I, I should be able to clear through this. Just with my C star alone. Sh uh, my CSR should be able to do it. Well, I have no blue souls. I think this is the, the gimmick of this level. Just nobody has any sort of blue souls. Well, rip. Rip my nightmare. Alright, we're gonna finish this one off. And then hopefully by next turn, my, my CSR can finish this guy off. Alright, one more turn. Should be fine. Should totally be fine unless he, like, somehow stunlocks me to death. Which I don't think is possible for that birdie. All 
Alright, there's a lot of weird gimmicky stuff with the levels. I'm probably gonna go... Yeah, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go four nukes for now. And then, um, we'll see how it goes. Cause, like, basically, you know, last stage I pretty much made it without any sort of heals. Um... Alright, this doesn't look too good for me. I don't know, I, I think like Nat 5s, a lot of the Nat 5s, it's like it's... The, the difference between an Evil 2 and an Evil 3 is like night and day, basically. <laughs> the Evil 3 versions of, a, of monsters are a lot stronger, they generate more blue souls because they have more hits. They do a lot more damage because they, they have more hits, they also have more stats. Um, so basically like... And if you can get a 4 star monster to Evil 3, it will like way outclass a Nat 5 monster at, at Evil 2. That's just something I, I kind of noticed, because I, I didn't really have a lot of Evil 3 4 stars until, you know, with the with the exception of the the ones that I fused for my Sapper team. Um, but yeah, what, what I found out was the, the stats for like 4 star Evil 3 monsters are a lot higher. They're like crazy, crazy high. Alright, this team this comp should be good for like most of the levels, I think. Until we get to some really, really annoying boss levels. Okay, next floor is the boss floor. Oh wait, I heard something about the Kira's shield being unremovable. But I don't have any sort of shield break. Do I have to raise a shield break in order to do this? I've heard something like that before. I'm gonna I'm gonna run run one healer and just uh we're gonna test the waters. We're gonna see what the what this floor is actually like. Holy shit, what the fuck? What is this bullshit? I heard something like the shield is like unremovable or something like that. That literally means I have to raise a certain unit just to clear through this floor. Like I have to, I have to raise a unique unit just to, just for the purpose of clearing this floor every single month. The rewards aren't really that good. Like to be, to be honest, they're they're pretty shit. <laughs> Thing is, light dark eggs aren't really that good because there's not a lot of really good light dark um, three star monsters in the game. Like, it's and it's a lot harder to get lightning. You know, basically you you have like a limited amount of eggs, and you're not. It's not like you're more likely to get lightning. I have no idea why how I got s so much lightning um, in my light dark eggs before. They might have nerfed the rates. Like, I think during the first month of like. During the first two months um, that the game was out, they they had like a lot better summoning rates, and now that people have got actually gotten into the game, they like kind of nerf the rates or something like that, which kind of makes me sad. All right, moment of truth. Um, I've heard some horror stories, all right? I've heard some horror stories about how the shields are unremovable. Are they seriously unremovable? They are unremovable. What the fuck? Holy shit, she just keeps healing. And I can't break the shield. All right, looks like uh looks like our run ends. I think our run ends today until I until I raise something to break the shield. Honestly, look at this. Look at this shit. Oh wait, it's broken. Oh no, it just uh it ended. It wasn't broken, it just it just ended, I think. What is this bullshit? Wait, I might be able to cheese through this. I might be able to cheese through this. 
Wait, it, it's gonna suck when I run out of blue souls though. Also, my attack is, uh, they put attack down on me. Can I stun her? Is she immune? Immune to taunt, seal, SP reduction, action inhibiting effects. So basically all bosses of, of the tower are immune to any sort of CC now. Honestly, that sucks. Mm. Oh shit, I put too much damage on this. Rip. He's gonna use this shield now. Oh god, that, that did too much damage. Alright, we're just gonna wait three turns, alright? We're gonna wait three turns. And then my Fire Arthur will have his, uh, his nuke up. I mean, my Fire Arthur has his nuke up. And then I'll armor break and then we'll just straight out kill someone. I don't know if I can kill her though. I mean, if I had like one really, really strong nuke her, I might be able to do it. Just get her to like half HP, have her armor broken, and then just nuke her in one turn. Might actually work. Damn it, they put attack down on my C star. Alright, I'm gonna wait a few turns. I'm gonna hit her, we're gonna hit this. What the fuck? Oh shit, she's gonna use her shield now. I think I fucked that up. God damn it! Oh my god. Okay, um there's a there's a way to cheese through it. Like if you don't want to raise a shield breaker, I think you can do it. Like if you have a pretty strong, pretty decently strong Dark Gatito, I think you can do it. Alright, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna raise a Dark Gatito after my July. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna run this for with a Gatito. It's gonna I'll show you guys. You don't have to bring any shield breaker. You can cheese through this shit. But it's probably gonna take a few days. Probably uh, after my July, which is like, it's probably gonna take tomorrow, today, and tomorrow, and then I'll, I'll raise my Gatito, which is gonna take like two more days. You can cheese through this. There's there's a way. There's a, there's a way to cheese through it. Like they're not that tanky. You can actually um, bring her HP down by half. Yeah, see, just just look at this nuke. All right, this 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 was a pretty shitty nuke, but I think if I had like a really strong nuke, I could do it. All right, this is GG. This is this is fuck. This is so fucked up. All right, I think that that's that's the end of our run. I think. Um, I I don't think I can continue on. There's no way I can I can continue on without either raising a shield breaker or or having like really really insane nuke. I can just kill her straight out. Um. I don't know what are what are good shield breakers. Wait, let me just uh, let me just grab my gems and then we'll look at we'll look at shield break. All right. I think there's a there's a few there's a few monsters that I know. Um, the the water coteen, I, th I think was a really good monster. Uh, he has it's a healer with defense buff and shield break. It's pretty decent. Shield breaker, 100% chance to dispel shields, and then defense up. I'm not sure which other monster has shield break though. Basically, this icon over here. Yeah, honestly, I, I have no idea which other monster in the in the game has shield break. All right, we're gonna have to probably do some research, and then eventually we'll. we'll definitely find some monster that has shield break but I think most of the nat 4s and nat 5s don't have shield break because it's like a it's, it's a pretty shitty skill actually it's like a, a skill that's not really used by anyone um, so I think most of the nat 5s and nat 4s like it's pretty much a just a skill that's only good against shield monsters which is like really really rare you, basically never happens 
Um, actually, I don't know. I have no idea which monsters have shield break, to be perfectly honest. Alright, it looks like the only monster I know is the water coating. I mean, yeah, that's that, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like raising it. I'm going to try to cheese through it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise my Dark Atito after like two days. And then we're going to... We're gonna put like just all attack on this guy. We're gonna we're gonna fuck her up. All right, we're gonna fuck her up so fast that she can't she can't do anything. Um, but yeah, until then, until then, I'm just gonna continue on raising my July and then eventually raise my Dark Atito. And I don't know, it's that that was that was pretty pretty fucked up. All right, that was pretty fucked up. Um, I'm stuck on floor 40, but I think I'm not gonna be stuck for that long. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.